So, what do you think? Do I look sufficiently white girly? I admit, I did actually Google white girl stereotypes to try and work out how best to dress for this most momentous occasion. There's something really special on today, and I definitely needed the white girl stereotype. But instead of yoga pants, it is leggings, colourful leggings. And instead of Ugg boots, because I don't actually own any Ugg boots, it is <gasps> panda snow boots. Because, you know, I am sunny, hot, tropical Australia. I own snow boots, but not the stereotypical Ugg boots. Oops. However, I am all set with this. A special, special tool for this upcoming momentous occasion. Can you guess what it is? And that really helpful tool is... Dun dun dun! That's right, if you download the Starbucks app, and there's even an app specifically for Australia, then as a thank you, you get half price off the drink, which means even if you don't like the drink, at least you didn't have to pay full price for it, right? So, I probably look a little bit insane, but I don't care because I have literally waited years for this. And it is delicious, it's really strong and really flavorful. And, of course, in the true spirit of the season, it is, of course, the pumpkin spice latte. It finally came to Australia. We are the first country outside of the US to finally get it too. So yay, lucky us! USA, you're not the only guys with this now, except we get it in spring instead of fall. And it's delicious. It's very, very sweet, very, very flavorful. It kind of has like a buttery taste to it. You can notice the cinnamon. It's like a cookie. It's very much like an autumn type of cookie. And there is spices on the cream. And in there you can taste the cinnamon, you can taste the nutmeg. It's a very strong flavor. It's delicious. And this is the pumpkin spice frappe. So it's not just the lattes. You can get it iced, you can get it hot, but it's way too hot today. So frappes. Okay, so now that I'm someplace quiet and can talk without, you know, I was trying to project and talk very loud, but obviously it was quite noisy in Starbucks. And here I also seem like less of a crazy person, you know, talking to myself to a camera in a really public setting. But anyway, now that I'm back, I can do a bit of a better review. Now, was the pumpkin spice frappe, not the latte, but was pumpkin spice everything I hoped it would be? 
The short answer is no. It wasn't everything I hoped it would be, but it was nice. It was delicious. And I can see why it's popular, but it wasn't as unique or special as I expected because it tasted very similar to the Christmas special, the gingerbread latte. Now, I also love the gingerbread latte. I think it's delicious. My favorite is the candy cane mocha, but the gingerbread latte is definitely a close second. And pumpkin spice is very similar to it. So if you liked the gingerbread one, you're going to like the pumpkin spice one. Now with the pumpkin spice, you can taste spices. There was definitely allspice in there, cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, the kind of spices you'd expect in gingerbread. It didn't really taste pumpkin pie-y at all, which is what I was expecting. And although it was nice, and I do recommend that you try it, because you know, you might as well try everything at least once. Yeah, it wasn't as good as I was hoping. I mean, I'm still going to try pumpkin spice everything in the USA, and I am looking forward to trying pumpkin spice chai lattes. But as for, is it as good as I hoped? Was it worth years and years and years of waiting? Sadly, not quite. 